right, hello and good evening guys. We arrived to Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. We are quite tired, uh, but we need something to eat. So we went to this Korean restaurant called Manam. 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 Mm. And actually in Uzbekistan, it's a big Korean community. But these people are not uh, Korean first generation. They are actually fourth generation Koreans. So in Uzbekistan, they have a lot of uh, local dish made on Korean recipe style. So we're gonna try that now. And also we have ordered our food. Uh, I'm gonna show you the food later. First, we wanted to try a Uzbek beer called Zarbast. And let's try this beer in this Muslim country. They actually produce their own local beer here, which is very interesting, even though Uzbekistan is a Muslim country. Oh yeah. Jan. Not bad. So we had a bit uh, trouble to order because these dishes, they only have Russian menu and that's normally fine, but it's Korean dishes and I don't know how to translate Korean dishes to Russian. So the guy had to fetch a translator uh, to help us with English and it went well, relatively well, uh, but not perfectly. So let's see what we uh, get. All right, we finally got our food and I'm gonna give you guys a quick showdown. So this is Uzbek style kimchi jjigae. And this is something with meat, I think he explained to me. And you have all the side dishes there. You have kimbap. It's beef kimchi jjigae. I see, interesting. It's uh, <laughs> they don't eat pork here. And um, here you have bread. I bet you've never seen bread in a Korean restaurant in Korea before. And you have the local beer. So let's try the food. Спасибо огромное. Да, все. Да, я думаю, что это все. Э, что это называется? Перец фаршированный. Перец фаршированный. Фаршированный, да. Он вкусный. Вкусный. Его попробуйте, он чуть-чуть горький. Хорошо, спасибо Гор... огромное. Острый. Ос очень Корейский. острый. Да, да, да. This is uh, pepper. Spicy mm -hmm. pepper. Relatively spicy, he said. Okay. Huh. This is cabbage soup, definitely. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it's supposed to be this big style Korean. We can't really blame them. Yeah, <laughs> Ah, сколько минут пешком около? Здесь десять минут туда, десять минут сюда. А минут? Это самые близкие банкоматы. Да, потому что у вас нету виза. Понятно. Понятно. Спасибо огромное. Вау. 20 minutes to the fur, uh, to the closest uh, ATM. Oh. Let's see. Wow, uh, уважаемые, виза карта можно. Можно? Можно. Хорошо. Это потом, когда будете It's basically pepper with meat, actually. You should try this. 
Mm. Uh, is it? Mm. But it's probably done in a Uzbek way. It's similar. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. This is one very good actually. And then we have. I need to try the Uzbek style kimchi, Korea style kimchi. Very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> Very interesting to try that. Uzbekistan eating Korea, Korea um, style food. So the th <coughs> the thing with uh, Korean people in Uzbekistan is that they are actually fourth generation Koreans. Because during the um, Japanese colony, they escaped to eastern and Siberian part of Russia to escape the oppressive regime uh, that the Japanese colony were uh, implementing on the Korean Peninsula. But when Stalin took over, he wanted to expel the Koreans, so he expelled them to Central Asia, including Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan mainly and here they are <laughs> many of them ended up in Uzbekistan and are making Korean style food uh, in Uzbek way like it's a combo of Korean and Uzbek it's called Korea 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 so many of them are still staying in Uzbekistan uh, some of them are also coming back to Korea and they are actually um, they have the right to get Korean citizenship since they, if they can prove that their ancestors were expelled or sent to Central Asia uh, during the time <coughs> of the oppressive time during Stalin era. So that's where we are now, basically, in such a restaurant, uh, Manham House. Manam. Manam House, it's mm. called. And, uh, for me, this waitress, some of them look a bit Korean, but I can't say. And also some of them ended up, just a side uh, fact, some of them also ended up in Ukraine during the same period. And they are coming back to Korea during these times because of the <coughs> ongoing war in Ukraine. And they are also granted uh, citizenship. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting fact, but we're gonna enjoy <coughs> our food now. Thank you а можно спросить вопрос, потому что мы э, прочитал по, про это, это кухня э, будет э, корейский, да? Ну, вы корейский или узбекский? Ну, корейский, 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 потому что это было очень интересно прочитать, потому что она из, из Кореи. И она хотела бы знать, эм, ну, да. Это, это получается корейская кухня в Узбекистане. Э, это корей... корейская кухня в Узбекистане находится. Да, 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 да. Хозяйка Калянка. Э, еще. Хозяйка Калянка. Как Халянка? Хозяйка. Халянка. Владелец, владелец. Владелец. А, а понятно. Хозяин. Понятно, понятно. Босс, босс. Босс, босс. А, босс. понятно, да. понятно. Интересно. Интересно. Ну, спасибо огромное. Интересно. Спасибо. Давай. Goodbye. Okay. So, I just wanted to show you guys quickly the room that we're staying. Here is the master's bedroom. It's a very small uh, room. We even have a balcony here behind these curtains. Behind here, you can sit on the balcony. There is not much to see because it's basically straight into the Malaysian embassy over there. And then you have a small bathroom here with a shower room. And we pay in total uh, $120 for four nights, which is pretty cheap. 
Um, one thing is that when you enter the hotel, you actually need to take off your shoes. So they give you this slippers here, which is pretty nice. I don't know if it's typical Uzbek uh, culture or if it's just this hotel. I don't know about that. But anyway, it's a relatively okay room. Uh, they have air condition here that you can see. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna explore uh, Tashkent uh, more. Good morning, folks. And it's another hot day in Tashkent in Uzbekistan. We're gonna visit a market called Mirobad Dekhon Bazaar. Basically, Mirobad Market. And this market here is a relatively big market for Korean people. Koreans love to shop here. So we're basically gonna visit this market here. And the thing is that in this region here, uh, there are so many Korean stores. So for instance, before I started this video, we went to a supermarket where we bought soju. The owners there spoke Koreans and most likely they are descendants from Korea or the people called Koryo Saram. 